Hello and thanks for watching Gary Teaches Maths. I'm continuing to go through the Edexcel higher tier paper from 2019. This is paper one, which is a non-calculator paper. And we're on question six, which is a question about ratios. So it says here that a uh, shop sells packs of black pens, packs of red pens and packs of green pens. And in each pack, there are two uh, black pens there's five pens in each pack of red pens and six pens in each pack of green pens. So we're given the ratio of the number of packs of each. So the number of black packs to the number of red packs, to the number of green packs is seven to three to four. And we're told that there is 212 pens that were sold in total. So we've got to work out the number of green pens that have been sold. So. Although we're given this ratio, which is the, the ratio of the packs that of each that are sold, we've actually got a differing number of pens in each. So we could set up another ratio, which would be the ratio of the black pens sold to the ratio of the red pens sold to the ratio of the green pens sold. Now, if we've got seven black packs of pens, but in each pack there is two black pens, that means we've got 14, if we multiply the seven by the two, and then if we take the five and the three, we can multiply them together because we've got three packs, each containing five pens. So that will be three times five, which is 15. And then we've got four packs of green pens, but each one of those contains six pens. So that gives us four times six, which is 24. So that's the ratio, not just of the packs sold, but actually the ratio of the black pens to the red pens to the green pens that are sold. So if we add that ratio up, we get that we've got 14 plus 15 is 29 plus 24 makes 53. So the proportion of pens that have been sold that were green, so the proportion of green pens or fraction of green pens is actually um, 24 out of 53 of the pens were green pens. Now, if we're told that we sold 212 pens in total, then the total number of green pens is given by this fraction, 2, 4, 24 over 53, times by 212. So we can simplify that. We can say, let's first of all divide the 212 by the 53, rather than just multiplying straight across. It's, we can simplify it a lot further. Um, so we can see that if we times 53 by 4, we would get 4 times 3 is 12, carry the 1. 4 times 5 is 20, plus the 1 is 212. So we can see actually that 53 goes into 212 four times, leaving us with the 1 on the bottom and a four on the top. So if we multiply that now, 24 times four would give us 96. And we've done it. We don't need to bother about the one on the bottom there. It's equivalent to saying it was 21, uh, 212 over one. But one times one is one on the bottom, which we can ignore. So we've got 96 green pens. And we've done it. So I hope that's been helpful to you. If it has, please like our video and subscribe to our channel, Gary Teaches Maths. And for more help, see our website, which is bestmathstutors.co.uk. Thanks for watching.